Omar bin Said was a scholar. He was born in what is now Senegal, between the rivers of Senegal and Gambia, Fututoro, probably a Fulani, and the Fulanis are one of the largest and most important tribes of West Africa. Today, they number about 40 million people. He um, was born uh, in that region. He grew up and uh, went to school. Uh, we have to assume it was one of the madrasas uh, linked to the mosques where he learned to read and write in Arabic. At a certain point, uh, at the age of 37, he was caught by, uh, in, during a tribal uh, conflict, and he speaks about a large army having come in. There came to our place a large army who killed many men and took me and brought me to the great sea and sold me into the hands of the Christians who bound me and sent me on board a great ship and we sailed upon the great sea a month and a half when we came to a place called Charleston in the Christian language. There they sold me to a small, weak, and wicked man called Johnson, a complete infidel who had no fear of God at all. The important thing here is that a, it's a miracle that it, it survived. People thought it was important enough to carry it on. There probably were others written by uh, uh, people who were enslaved. But this is the only known existing manuscript in Arabic written by a slave in the United States. It's the only one. 